Hello, hello. So, with the release of Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament just about two weeks away now in the accompanying rotation in which My Hero Academia Set 1 is going to be leaving Standard, I wanted to start looking forward to that and start trying to talk about trying to, to get a feel for what sort of format we're going to be in right? once this rotation hits. Uh, you know, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of question marks. We got the... Wish Tournament coming up on March 9th, and then I believe just the week after that is going to be Webcam Regionals. Uh, so pretty quick turnaround here after the release of Dark Tournament to, to get some competitive juices flowing. And one of the things that was really notable about MHA Set 1 and its place in the format prior to this is that that set had a lot of very frequently played spam foundations. And by spam foundations, I mean foundations that cost zero or one difficulty, and that first set just had a bunch of them that went in almost every deck on its symbol. You're thinking of car cards like Release, cards like Requesting Assistance, cards like Calling for Backup. Uh, the list goes on, or at least a dozen or something of them. So uh, one of the you know, very obvious questions of things to think about about this new format is where do we stand in terms of spam? Where are the symbols? What do they have? You're just kind of going... You know, symbol by symbol, if I, if I build a fire deck, like, what am I looking at now, right? What am I looking at in a world after calling for backup? What does an air deck look like when I don't release anymore, right? And so we're going to get into that. And, and just to sort of organize my thoughts about this, I figured I'd have a little fun presented as sort of a tier list. Uh, and this is going to be a tier list roughly representing where I feel the symbols stand just in terms of spam foundations. You could have a symbol just be very, very good on the back of its characters and its attacks and its higher difficulty foundations, and it doesn't really matter that their spams do basically nothing, right? But it just just to isolate spam as a concept and, and organize it in some way, I'm going to put it into some tiers. A, B, C, D don't really mean anything other than, like, better, not as better, kind of bad, really bad, right? Kind of thing here. And, and I have a little accompanying set of slides that we're going to go through, and, and just to start off... I just want to talk big picture about what what kinds of spams am I looking for, right? And, and in this case, I really want to focus mostly on the stuff that's going to see widespread play, the kinds of spams that you can see going in lots and lots of different decks, uh, the, the very sort of generic ones. And, and generally, there's like a few groups of those. And, and first and foremost here are ju just sort of the outliers. And, and I would say struggling with studies, snack time, and floating around my babies are all just sort of power level outliers when it comes to spams, they just do more than what you would expect cards at those difficulties to do. Uh, you know, we've been familiar with these cards for a while. Uh, maybe in some time we decide that some, you know, Yu Hakusho or Challenger deck card adds to this list. But, you know, these three cards from 2022 <laughs> are going to be hanging around having a pretty big impact for a while. And then just a, a few, just a handful of other categories. So, first of all, you have speed reduction. Ideally, what I would call plus rate speed reduction. So every symbol has access to enhanced commit minus two speed in some form or another on a one diff with a three block. Uh, Jetburn made sure that all symbols had one of those and some symbols have more than one of those. And But what you're really looking for in terms of a generic lots of deck spam is stuff that does a little bit better than that, right? Whether it's something like Fast Friendship or I'll Protect You giving you a one-time net minus two or sometimes with Fast Friendship mass net minus three speed. High value kind of committing for minus two by giving you a lot of flexibility to only do that when you definitely need to. Ice gliding can net you minus three and has an offensive use. Uh, surviving final gives you that net minus one on a zero. Cards like that, there's a couple others that, that could see some play. But, but that is one type of spam that ideally you would like your symbol to just have at least one of these, right? To just kind of feel good about your speed reduction situation. Uh, also, sacrifice outlets. Uh, especially with younger Tuguro coming, it is... And, Probably going to be seeing some younger Jurgetics that are trying to force people into deadlock. Having ways to destroy foundations and keep yourself out from under deadlock is very important. Probably more important than it's ever been, uh, at least temporarily, until we see, you know, what the popular younger Jurgetics look like, what his actual popularity is. And you know, some symbols have better sack outlets than others. Uh, you don't necessarily need this to be on your spam. It can be on a 2-diff. There are some very good 2-difficulty sack outlets, but... Ideally, if you're going to run a card basically just to sacrifice foundations, you would like that to exist on a spam. And I think every symbol, every symbol besides Earth has one on a spam. But 
you'd much rather have a Nigeria Chan of the big three than you would an idol work, for instance. Right, that, that matters. Uh, next thing we see a lot, uh, spams that flip to draw a card in some fashion are pretty popular. Uh, they tend to see lots of play where they, they kind of get starting to have conditions attached now, right? We don't just get uh, calling for backup anymore, per se, but still, some conditions are pretty easy to meet. Not too bad. Some, you know, fierce transformation you have the opt in, you can always just draw and discard if you don't have the momentum. Uh, you know, Botan's coaching does that on a zero, but can straight you draw you a card if you have nothing in your hand, etc., etc. Uh, these are, it's always nice to have one of these to sort of shore up. Uh, especially, you know, your more awkward hands, just draw another card, get get a different thing into your block mix and things like that. Uh, and, you know, varying degrees of on-demand for this. And, and sort of the other broad thing, it, it's nice to have a little bit of offense from your spam. Uh, we're getting a couple new pieces in this regard in Dark Tournament. Uh, paying the cost is a very nice one. Displaying power will... I don't think people quite know how to rate just yet, but commit for plus the damage seems pretty good. There's some existing stuff, not quite... Uh, what used to have some of the sock outlets serve this purpose too, right? But for instance, we used to have uh, tight lipped, right? And and that's gone. So you know, again, outside of floating, a, a little bit of a, a downgrading your capabilities on this front, but still, it'd be nice to have a little bit of options here. Uh, Red Riot's the coolest is another card you could put on this list. And then that said, like I talked about all this generic stuff, but you know what you have in terms of specialized options does matter. There's all sorts of different foundations that. You know, could make sense in this deck, but not that deck. Or maybe it's good in a seven-hander, but not really useful in a six, or vice versa. Or you need to be on this trait. Your deck needs to be doing such and such of this type of thing. There's all sorts of stuff on this space, and it, it does matter, right? Uh, what a symbol has access to on this front. So, that being said, we're going to go symbol by symbol here. I've got a little slide for each symbol and, and some notes that I'm going to read off of here. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to show every single foundation that every single symbol has access to. I'm just going to just kind of plopped a bunch of notable ones on a slide and uh, if you think i'm missing cards or underrating or underrating things feel free to yell at me in the comments it's fine that's good for algorithm etc etc so yeah we'll just go right in order so first up is air and so air is an interesting one it's one of the more interesting ones to look at because it's pretty thin on generics uh these three are kind of it you can pretty much run basic training, Nedry Chan, Fearsome in, in most any deck with a straight face. Basic training is going to give you a little bit of deadlock, that's nice. But they have a really wide pool of sort of specialty pieces that can be quite good, right? Fluster is really good when it's active. Uh, Sword Shriek giving you plus two damage out of a zero diff is nice, right? When, when that's live. If you can make small limber work, which is a little bit harder now, you don't just automatically have release in every air deck, right? Um, out of reach if you're playing long attack strings. Uh, so. You know, they've got some nice options in that sense, but overall, it's still pretty thin. There's actually no speed hate here, uh, and but you've got a little bit of card drawn fierce and got a little bit of damage. You have most everything else you want. If flustered can be really good. You don't really have any big power level outliers, so air is okay. I don't feel good about air spam, but I don't hate it. Uh, I'm going to put this, this is going to start off our C tier uh, for the air symbol spam. Now, next up is the all symbol, and straight away we have, we have two of our outliers here. We have snack time and floating around my babies, that's very good. Full on is a fine sack outlet. I've got a little bit of card draw going on. We are the all symbol, so that's good. Yeah, once again, this is another symbol that doesn't really have speed hate unless resting up is live for you. Uh, it does have, you know, a, a decent slate of stuff otherwise. You'd kind of like to have some defense here, but... Overall, aside from that, if you can solve your speed hate elsewhere, and I don't recall, I don't think all's like two difficulty speed hate is that great. That's something we're going to talk about with some of these symbols that don't have speed hate are, are pretty well situated at two diff, and so it's not too big of a deal. But with all, it does kind of matter. Uh, I think if you're not a resting up character, then uh, it, it can be a little bit rough not having any speed hate on your spam. But other than that, every other, in every other way, all spam is very, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that at B. Uh, next, we have Chaos. And, you know, man, Chaos doesn't have the longest list of, of quote-unquote playable or interesting spam, but it does kind of just have everything that you want, right? It has Struggling with Studies, just like a great power level outlier card. You have a 
really solid speed, hate, and fast friendship. You have some card draw options. You have, so you have your sack out. You have some decent offensive stuff. Your zeros are fine. Easily excited it's not on this slide, but that's another one you could be playing. I... Uh, and, you know, just because you don't have, just because you're not, you know, 15 deep in spams that you might play, you're never going to play 15 different spams anyway. I think a lot of Chaos spam packages are going to be kind of samey. You're pretty much a mix of a lot of these cards. Um, but it's going to be a, a very, very effective samey. And I, I like quite, Chaos actually quite a bit right now. So I'm going to put Chaos as A tier. It, it does, it checks all the boxes, really. Next up, we have the Death Symbol. So the, the Death Symbol has this really cool thing going on that, well, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to be cool to play against it. We'll see how cool I feel it is in, in, you know, six months or whatever. But they have Snack Time and Frightening Calm. So uh, on a Death going in turn, right, if they're going in to kill you, they can make all of their attacks stun two with relative ease while also putting a speed on him while also getting a deadlock piece and their sack outlet all in that package. And they still have struggling with studies. Uh, this is another symbol that doesn't have a lot of speed hate, but that's to this two difficulty speed hate is pretty good. And you do have surviving the final, so that's not really an issue. You have a couple other nice zero difficulty options, uh, a nice variety of sort of specialized one diffs to go around. Uh, De Death looks great. Uh, Death looks very, very nice right now. Uh, it might be the best one. I'm not going to try to rate these within the tiers, but it it's possible that uh, you could make a case for being death having the best overall spam right now and it is, it is going to go right up in a here all right next one up here we have the earth symbol so earth this is sort of like chaos uh, where it's kind of boring uh, not super deep but it's pretty well rounded you know have your speed hit you have your card draw you have you, you do not have a sack outlet that, that is straight missing. Uh, but you, you kind of everything else you want. If Flustered is really nice, if you can do it. And Earth, you're probably playing a Foundation Sacrificing to difficulty anyway a lot of the time. Whether it's, um, shoot, the Quick Response or the new buoy card that gets you to destroy face down for minus two damage. Those are both fine sack outlet options, uh, especially in terms of not getting deadlocked by Younger Taguro. That minus two damage one is just fine. But, you know, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of well rounded. This one, I'm on the fence. Uh, you could make an A case for this just, just the same way that you do for Chaos. You can make a B case for it. But um, it's because it, it's kind of unexciting. You don't really have the sack out. Like, you don't have, you know, outside of snack time, you don't have, like, fantastic offense here. Red Rite's the coolest is nice. But I am going to go ahead and put it in B. Um, kind of, you see all of these, pretty much every symbol is going to be fine on spam. You're going to have enough quote unquote playable spam to fill out a deck uh and, and b is very fine and you know c d you're kind of you know that you're gonna feel bad about it c you're probably okay that is kind of the vibe here uh next up we're gonna do evil and evil kind of feels like the new life to me um there was a certain life decks mostly toga back in the older formats that just played a bunch of life spam foundations that put damage on everything. And you, you can see full on attack mode and floating around. My babies were part of that picture. They have the life symbol, but the life lost a couple of its other ones. But evil here has paying the cost, filling one of those holes. And if you really want to, you can play display of power. <laughs> and you have this really funny option where you can just have your spams handle your slamming damage on all of your moves, right? And then your non-spam foundations are doing whatever else your deck needs to do. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. You know, once again, not not a whole lot of speed hate, but similar to Death, Evil's higher difficulty speed hate stuff is fine. Um, they do have two sacrifice outlets, and you're probably not going to play both, even though you know Frightening Calm and Full On Attack Mode are both good. Um, you know, and Surviving Final, the lone speed hate piece. It, it's fine. The, the the damage thing is cool. It's not you know super exciting unless you're really getting value out of this spam damage plan your character doesn't provide damage and you, ju you just need your foundations to do it for you um but yeah ev evil's pretty well situated i'm gonna put it up here in b all right next up is gonna be fire 
so f fire is another one where it, it's pretty boring right <laughs> we have all protect you i mean you know it, it's gonna get like this over time right as they make their spam foundation simpler and simpler we might say that more often about looking at a simple spam packages but you know we talk about paying the cost is good frightening call all these you know these one discs are all good um they hit most of what you want to do their their draw power isn't really here and another thing that's notable about fire is they do not have zero diffs uh, they have quick to act and this was a problem before and it, it's still <laughs> that hasn't really changed they have quick to act and then uh hopefully you're a self mill deck because it's it's like ignite it's one man inferno and if you don't care about those um you're just playing quick to act and that's your only zero and that that can be fine right that's not the end of the world uh but you probably aren't too interested in running a heap of two checks in fire if you can get a get away with not running them you know, some cases I know Endeavor decks really like Flash Fire Fist anyway, but they're the decks that want those other zero, so it's fine. Um, but, you know, other than sort of the thin zeros, you, Fire's pretty well off. It, it It's very fine. Doesn't have the card draw instead of Season Brawler, but, you know, that's alright. It, it's pretty good. You're pretty happy with Fire Spam right now. I'll put that in B as well. So we had a bit of a, a B tier string, uh, and we're going to get a little bit ugly. <laughs> um... The good symbol, uh, boy, the good symbol misses set one for sure. Uh, so our our speed hate, if we're not arresting up character, is a uh, high value target, and that's that's kind of it. Our card draw is, um, you know, maybe we're a final test character. You notice I filled this slide with new training method and no time to waste, because I think that's where we're going here. Uh, good symbols spam is so thin that you're probably running new training method and calling it a spam uh not because like oh i want to run new training method and hey it's also a spam but like man i just need my spam count to get somewhere your only sack outlet on good as well as on order and void is idle work you don't have even at two diff or more this is really your only option and you know i'm i'm a bit of an idle work defender but it, still at the end of the day compared to uh, the the mass stun card i'm already forgetting the name of frightening calm or, or full-on attack mode or something either work doesn't have that like close out the game potential that a lot of these other sacrifice outlets do uh it's just kind of maybe helpful value type stuff if you're destroying foundations anyway type of card uh practical studies is nice that's a nice offense a nice deadlock piece but you know their zeros are all very medium you know keeping aries safe if they're stunning you is pretty nice but they're not always stunning you a uh, surprising skill is dropped in value uh your finish has a nice deadlock it, it, it it's not pretty uh, <laughs> uh yeah good's gonna go down here in d tier uh good needs some help or, or you know again serviceable you can put together a spam lineup out of these and it's fine but it, clearly not quite up to the level what other symbols are doing uh, on the flip side, the life symbol uh, is still stacked. <laughs> um, so, if plenty of speed hit. We have fast friendship. We have high value target. We could be a resting up symbol. We're pretty happy about that. Uh, we have this you know, really cool zero difficulty super block combo with number 10 pro hero and syndicate target. I'll ex I'd expect to see a lot of decks running... Three of each of these zeros with floating around my babies also obviously being really good. And incredible display to just re-block with their syndicate targets or re-block with their number 10 pro heroes and just get a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, card draw is limited outside of dangerous combatant, which you don't have a whole lot of control over. But a couple good sack outlet options. You know, floating is good, practical is good. Uh, and life's card draw, which is sort of the only thing that's light here, is pretty heavy in the rest of the symbol and the rest of your options for life you can find some ways to draw some cards i, I think life is really looking good on the spam front right now and i'm, I'm gonna put it up in a all right next up is order uh the other uh, kind of desolate symbol for spam uh it at, at least it has like two nice ones ice gliding and botan's coaching are pretty good you do get to play a couple house of cards uh, play a couple Fruit of My Labors. Some people really like that card. That, that's sort of a deck-dependent kind of card. Uh, once again, your sack outlet's limited to idle work. Uh, order, uh, you don't even have new training method. It's it, it's not great. You have some conditional draw stuff. You're probably running Shinobi Prodigy just because that's what you've got. 
Uh, and if you're not an order deck that's planning to block multiple times, you know, I, <laughs> between not, not getting a lot of value advice, planning or Shinobi Prodigy, you're probably in some trouble. But, you know, you figure it out, maybe find some specialized stuff. But uh, overall, uh, the, the general picture is not good. <laughs> I'm just going to put order in the D tier here. All right, two more left to go through. So next up we have Void, and, and this is a, a hard one to rate for me. Uh, you've got, once again, you're an idol work symbol, so there, there's that, that's bad. You've got a pretty nice slate of zeros. You know, nothing crazy, but easily exciting. Botan's coaching are both pretty good. Saving Bakugo. Uh, I think flips are still gonna be reasonably popular. You still have Dragon to Strike. You still have Seizing the Advantage, even if you don't have, you know, the Apathetics anymore. It was. We're kind of mostly only seeing that in overhauls anyway. Uh, so I think flipping is still going to be, you know, out there enough for saving Bakudo to be a good card to have access to. Which, you know, the order symbol does have for what it's worth. I kind of glazed over that. Uh, keeping area safe, I'm of course down on. But you, you've got some offense, you've got some zeros, you don't... You know, your only draw is Botan's coaching, you don't have any speed hate, you're an idol work symbol, so like, it, it's okay, it's better than the D tier stuff, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Void belongs in C here. And then the last one we're gonna go to is Water. Uh, water has a lot of defense. Water, you have Struggling, you have Fast Friendship, you have Ice Gliding, you have Surviving the Final. Uh, you have the option to run something that shouldn't be Prodigy or Warm and Bubbly if you're a six-hander. It doesn't have much in the way of offense outside of basic training. Uh, it, if you're not a flustered, if you're a flustered symbol, you feel a lot better about this than if you're not. Uh, but your 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 card draw is just uh, flustered, and yeah, so you have speed hate, not a whole lot, but very nice speed hate and, and very and some pretty nice zeros. And you'll be able to. This will be another one where like a lot of water spam lineups are going to look kind of samey, but it's a pretty good samey. Not quite as exciting as Chaos, I don't think, but not really bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and put the water in the B tier here. So, uh, this is what I have. Uh, you know, obviously not science, not very scientific, uh, very feels-based. Uh, prob you know, always could be some cards I'm forgetting. Tell me in the comments if there's there's some card you think I'm grossly underrating or something like that. But overall, you know, you know pretty interesting. You know, going into this, I... I'm really thinking a lot about the the assets in this format. <laughs> um, it was a reason that had the good symbol like new training method building, no time to waste because no time to waste is, I think the only way the good symbol has to deal with assets. <laughs> so I think that could actually be a thing. Uh, so you know I'm, I'm pretty interested in running Hacker Extraordinaire right now, but you know going through this spam exercise, you know, maybe I don't really feel that great about an order deck. We'll see what else we can do. Um, might might start looking at the all deck right based on this, but you, you know death chaos lifespan all looking very good. The the B tier stuff all has some interesting things going on, and uh, if you're gonna build one of these these C or D tier decks, just be aware that you're gonna have to make up for a little bit of the power gap uh, with the rest of your kit or of some special like synergy spams. Right, there's a bunch of uh, I think some weapon and momentum theme stuff on air that you can make some use of if you're one of those characters. Uh, so you know not the be all end all by any stretch, but just a way to sort of sort my thoughts of how we feel about spam going into this new 2024 meta. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this, if there's any other topics you'd like to see covered. Uh, I don't really have anything specific in mind right now, but other than you just finding ways to sort of look at where we're at in this new format. So until next time, have a good night.